Alrighty folks, I just wrapped up the uh, FX conversion to my E11 blaster here, 3D printed. Can't remember the guy I got, got it from here, but it's been a while and I've been putting the electronics in it, finding it. So based off of a blaster core card that I was able to get my hands on to, driven by a 7.4 volt lithium battery that's mounted back here sound cards in here that uh this is spring loaded uh the stock folding stock actually is functional and works and so it's the clip but anyway basically ro rotate rotate the kill switch on it here <clears throat> little button right here that switches it from single to auto I've got this pressing against a momentary switch here that changes ranges there's six different types of weapons in here I only really interested in one the stormtrooper blaster anyway that changes ranges the clip actually comes out you can kind of see a mess of wiring in there uh, speaker mounted in here facing the other direction and then another, another little 28 millimeter lightsaber in there but anyway clip out and right now as you'll see it's the display in the back it won't fire because I don't have the clip in it whoops off screen there but the minute I put the clip in it automatically loads the weapon energy display in the back chasing LEDs in the front I can simply press here change the different ranges on it That's my blaster, then it tells me when it's out of ammo. Press it, Press it to reload. Not sure how well this will show in the front here. That's what I've been working on while we're all pinned at home with this crazy COVID crap. Anyway, turn that off. Take the clip out. And it won't fire. Roll that off with my finger, which is the kill, kill port and recharge key at the same time. It's like a lightsaber. So, and the clip's held on with magnets. There it is. That's what I've been working on. Hope everybody's staying safe. See you all sometime soon, we hope.